ISUPK presents the Lord's 51st annual Passover. This is crazy, yo. We in the arena. Okay, I can't explain to you the level that is. This place is going to be packed with the children of the Lord shouting in one word and one name to them all. On Thursday, April 9th, 2020, at sundown, we're going to be holding the Lord's 51st annual Passover. I ain't a people pleaser. I don't like people either. I don't care if you're not the jigger and want to meet you. Just give me my mother. We're going to be located at the Westchester County Center, 198 Central Air, right flank, New York, 10606. $100 for all the dark 17 and over. Kids are for free. Start All sending in your funds today. For booking information, check us out on the ISUPK 51st Annual Pass Mobile Facebook page. More updates will be available Last but not least, Israel, Commandant General Yohanna will be accepting the men willing to stand for the Hebrew Academy 2021. The Lord's 51st Annual Passover. We are the ISUPK, coming out of 125th Street, out of New York, under Commandant General Yohanna. We are not affiliated with any other organization, religion, or group. Today, we are going to learn about the history of the black man in society. That's right. Today, we can, we're going to learn why the black man suffers a lot in this society. Why he is plagued by diseases. Why he is plagued with, with, by the healthcare system. Why he struggles to have a job. Why he struggles to open a business. Why he's number one in the prison system. Why he's number one in HIV. Why he's number one in, in all strange diseases that are born the face of the earth. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. The scripture says, if thou shalt hearken diligently. Hearken means to listen. If thou shalt listen diligently, boy. To do, to observe, and to do all his commandments. To observe and to do all the commandments that the Lord has set down in this Bible, boy. Which I command thee this day. Which he commands you even to this day, boy. That the Lord God will set thee on high. That the Lord God will set you on high. Above all nations on the earth. So we will be with the black man, the Hispanic man, and the native Indian man. If they will listen and apply the laws of this Bible, it will set you on high above all nations of the earth. That's right. When the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So now, the scripture is given on the opposite side. So one side said, if we listen to the laws, statutes, and commandments of this Bible, that we will be set on high above all nations of the earth. That's right. Now we get in the flip side. And the flip side is saying, if we did not listen, go ahead. But if, but it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments. So if we did not listen to the commandments written in this Bible, boy, and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee. So, so the scripture is saying, if we did not listen, that all these curses will come upon us. What are these curses? What is this Bible talking about? When the Bible speaks about curses, it is talking about punishment. That is why when you look around today, the black man is under all sorts of oppression today. That's right. That's right. The, the black man is number one in HIV. The black man is sick. 
with syphilis and growth and, and all manner of skin diseases. He struggles to pay his bills. He works nine to five and still struggles to, to mine himself on a daily basis. The black man continues to grow bigger and bigger in the ghetto. The black man struggles just to have a bank account. The black man struggles just to own an apartment. The black man struggles to own a business. The black man is, is on the sidewalk. Anywhere, any city we go to, don't matter what city we go to, we are sure to have 80% of the people on the street being the black, the Hispanic, and the native Indian man. That's right. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. So they say here now, the Bible is saying, Curse shall thou be in the city. So it says, Go in. Curse shall thou be in the city. What city can we go to? And the black man is not in the bottom. The black man doesn't go in the stores. The black man is always on a car at the side of the road. The black man is always on the pavement asking for money. The black man who manages to have a job struggles to pay his bills. The black man who struggles to keep his family together. White supremacy is bringing a sack on his family. Right. And white supremacy is bringing an attack on his family through the Christian church. That's right. Through That's right. our religious leaders, they have us in grip and have us to the bottom of society. Through our religious leaders, let's explain to us about the laws written in this Bible. We remain at the bottom of society because we remain not listening and applying the laws of the Most High. That's right. Continue. Curse shall thou be in the city, Where? and curse sh thou shall be in the field. And curse shall thou be in the field. No matter where we go, the city or the field. Curse shall, 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 shall we be. Curse shall we struggle to feed our families. Curse shall we be in the labor market. We are the ones to do all the work and get the least reward for it. That's right. That's right. We are the ones in society that are marked as the X Factor. We are the ones that nobody likes. That's we right. are the ones with the target on our back. We are the ones in our communities. They put drugs in our communities. Right. They put guns in our communities. That's right. That's right. They put all manner of illicit activity in our community. That's right. We are the ones who struggle, your parents struggle to send you to university and when you graduate, no job for you. That's right. No job for you, black man. You cannot reach this height that we are. That is the struggle of the black, the Hispanic, and the native Indian man. When we struggle and we do make it, or we do strive hard to own a, to own a business, they say, no contract for you, black man. You stay in the back. And when we look at today, even right here in Trinidad, look on the highways, what food trucks we, we see on the highways doing all the construction work, what food paving the roads, what food building the buildings. All you see is the junior Sammies. All you see is the, 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 the sub girls building high and multi um, a multi complex building. That's right. Look at who gets all government contracts. Look at who every time a, co a corruption scandal breaks out. Look at who gets the pay behind the scenes. That's right. These other nations have a target of the black, Hispanic, and native Indian man. That's, That's right. right. But no one is talking about it. No one in the church will tell you about it. Your pastor will not tell you about it. The pastor will not tell you about the attack on the black, Hispanic, and native Indian man. The pastor will not tell you about the attack on the black, Hispanic, and native Indian man's family. The black man and the, the Hispanic man and the native Indian man is loyal, loyal to the church every Sunday, night after night, prayer meeting, prayer and fast, Sunday worship. They go to the church, loyal, pay their time. The last that they have, the, the, the little that they have, that they will be able to feed their families, they give to the church. And what happens to them? When they fall by the wayside, nobody in the church knows you. Nobody knows you again. 
you on the west side, they leave you to rot. Because now, you are no longer important to them. But today, in this Bible, in this King James 1611, the Bible is saying, if you listen to these laws, statutes and commandments, and observe, and not only observe, but to do them, it will set you above all manner of, of ill in this society and bring you above in this nation. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 17. First shall be thy basket. First shall be thy basket, continue. And thy store. First shall be thy basket and thy store. Look at today, black man. As you get paid, it blow away in the wind like you have a fan. By, the, by your paycheck, it blows away the wind. The average black man today in society, ask him if he has at least five thousand dollars in the bank. He struggles in society. He takes loans. First shall be your storehouse. You can never have enough. But right through, we struggle and have to pay bills and oil the banks, oil for cars. They have us in debt in this society. Go ahead. Curse shall be the fruit of thy body. Curse shall be the fruit of thy body. All our children running here in wire, all over the place, AR-17 um, and 45 and Mach 11 and 9 millimeter all over the place. The fruit of the body of our nation is cursed. Because why? They infiltrate our communities and put drugs in our community. That's right. They put guns in our community. That's right. What black man today could afford to buy an AR-17 or AR-45? Where does he get this money? But somehow, these brand new guns in plastic, in boxes, arrive at his home. For, for him to do what? Kill his own. Destroy his community. Terrorize his neighborhood terrorize those in society and then they say what they give him a byword or, 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 or a name that is that is segregated they call him nigger and no good and good for nothing and he's a pest or he's a zesser this is what they do to our community any community a community can change but the environment the environment they set for them is the trap that has them in that condition today Verse 20, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 20. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing. Who shall send us? The Lord shall send upon thee cursing. It says the Lord shall send upon thee cursing. Not the devil. Who shall send us? The Lord shall send upon thee cursing. The Lord send us upon the black man, the Hispanic man, and the native Indian man. Why? Why has this happened to us? Because we fail. Our pastors and religious leaders fail to tell us the truth about this Bible. The black man, the Hispanic man, and the native Indian man are the chosen people of God. And when you read in this Bible and you read the history and the account of this people, a long back, while back, they turned away from the laws of the Most High. And now, we as the descendants are struggling and wondering why we are in this condition. It is because way back, that's why the Bible says the things of four times was written for our learning. Because way back, our forefathers walked away from the laws and it continued along the generation. And now that we are this place, we decided this under the ICPK, under command of Jerry Hanna, it is not happening anymore. We are going to teach our people about this Bible. That's right. And teach us to come back to follow these laws, statutes, and commandments. And teach us to come back a righteous nation upon the face of the earth. And the scripture, as we read in Deuteronomy 28 and 15, it says, if we, if we follow these laws in this Bible, we will be back on top. The Israelites, the black, the Hispanic, and the native Indian man are our spiritual people. And because we are spiritual people, this affects us in society. And we're going to show you why these people are, are, are marked in this condition. Go ahead. The book of Deuteronomy. 
which of the 28th and verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. And, and the most I said in the scriptures that the curses and the punishment upon black people today will be for a sign upon the people. That is how we are going to know the people. Right. We are going to know the people because these curses will be upon them in whatever city they go to. Don't matter if they are in the United States, don't matter if they are in England, Australia, Venezuela, Trinidad, Grenada, St. Britain, don't matter where you are, you are going to see the black, Hispanic, and native Indian man in the majority in the bottom of society. And, so right. Right. and they shall be upon thee for a sign. So the most high put these curses upon us for a sign, right? For a wonder. For a wonder. Everybody wonders about the black man. Everybody tries and say, what is wrong with the black man? They try to put us in a category that if we are good for nothing, but they are not explaining to us the solution. And the solution is in this Bible. And upon thy seed forever. And the scripture says, if we did not listen, these curses will be upon our seed for what? Ever. Forever. So it will continue to be upon our children and our children's children until we decide to come back to the laws, statutes, and commandments of this Bible. ISUPK presents the Lord's 51st annual Passover. This is crazy, y'all. We in the arena. Okay, I can't explain to you the level that is. This place is going to be packed with the children of the Lord shouting in one word and one name to them all. On Thursday, April 9th, 2020, at sundown, we're going to be holding the Lord's 51st annual Passover. I ain't a people pleaser, I don't like people either I don't care if you're not the jigger and want to meet you Just give me my motherfucking We're gonna be located at the Westchester County Center 198 Central Ave, Right Plain, New York, 10606 $100 for all adults 17 and over Kids are for free Start sending in your funds today for booking information, check us out on the ISUPK 51st Annual Pass over Facebook page. More updates will be available soon. Last but not least, Israel, Commandant General Yohanna will be accepting the men willing to stand for the Hebrew Academy 2021. The Lord's 51st Annual Pass over.